Hello, it's Eleonora here, and welcome to another episode of Imperial Materials or Rich Videos. Today, we're going to explore the incredible world of smart materials. Smart materials can change their properties in response to changes in the surroundings and then easily switch back. Let's dive in. One fascinating smart material is self-healing polymers. Just like our skin heals from cuts and bruises, these materials can heal themselves when damaged. But how does this work? These polymers have got dynamic chemical bonds that can reform after being broken. When the material is damaged, heat or pressure activates this bond, allowing them to heal and return to their original shape. Self-healing polymers could be used in all sorts of things like phone screens, car paints, and even aircraft swing to make them more durable. Next up, let's talk about piezoelectric materials. These smart materials generate electricity when squeezed or stretched. Here's how it works. Piezoelectric crystals like quartz have a unique structure that changes when mechanical stress is applied, creating an imbalance of charges and thus generating electricity. Piezoelectric materials are used in horse watches where you've got vibrating crystals that keep accurate time in guitar pickups string vibrations produce the electrical signals or also in barbecue lighters pressure creates a spark for the ignition now let's explore the amazing world of shape memory materials these metals and polymers can remember their original shape and return to it after being deformed the magic behind this ability lies in the material's crystal structure. Shape memory alloys like nitinol, nickel, titanium, switch between two different phases. Martensite, cool, flexible phase. At low temperatures, nitinol is soft and can be bent into different shapes. Austenite, hot and rigid phase. When heated, it becomes rigid and snaps back into its original form. Applications of shape memory metals include stands for veins, where they can expand and open up block veins. For the Mars rover, for example, where they use currently to move solar panels for energy collection. Next, let's delve into photochromic materials, which change color when exposed to light. Photochromic materials contain molecules that undergo a reversible transformation when exposed to ultraviolet light. In the presence of UV light, these molecules change structure, altering their color. Applications include, for example, photochromic lenses, sunglasses that darken in the sunlight and lighten indoors. Fun fact! If you're driving, don't expect them to change color whilst you're inside the car, as the glass from the windscreen won't let most of the UV pass through them. We can also use them for smart windows to adjust tint to control indoor lighting and temperature. Finally, let's explore thermochromic materials, which can change color in response to temperature changes. Thermochromic materials contain special pigments that change their molecular structure with temperature variation, leading to a visible color change. Applications can include mood rings, changing the color with body temperature, not with your mood, and thermometers, where the color changes indicate different temperature ranges. Aren't smart materials incredible? From self-healing polymers to piezoelectric materials and shape memory alloys, they're changing how we live and explore. Hope you enjoyed learning about them today. See you next time.